Hey everyone, in this tutorial we'll be covering how to add anchor links to your postcards email template. What I have open right now is the email template I've sent myself and as you can see I'm just scrolling down the page to see the different sections but there is a, another way to do this. Instead of just scrolling you can add anchor links to your menu items that will allow you to jump to different sections in the email. So for example I can click this world button and that will jump me to a different section in the email. So we'll be covering how to do this in the postcards app. All right, now I'm in the postcards app and I've set up a template to work with. So what I want to do is change two parts of this template. One, I want to edit one of the menu items to point to a specific element in this email template. And two, I want to add an anchor link in, w in one of the sections. So for the first part, I'll click into this section to edit the menu. I will click the menu. And in world, I will press the edit button and I will change the URL from example.com to hashtag world. Now I'm going to press done. And what that does is when I click the world menu item, that will jump to the part of the HTML code where hashtag world is set up. Next, I will click into the features section to edit the contents. And in the text, I can edit the source code by pressing tools, source code. And now I can add an HTML element. So I will add a new anchor tag like so, a name equals world. And in here, the hashtag isn't required. And I will add in a new line that BR is a new line element. And I will close the empty anchor link like so. I will press save, press done. And what that does is it adds a new HTML element in your email that matches the hashtag world link in the menu. So when you press the menu item, the browser will jump to that section. You want to use the name attribute rather than the href attribute because you don't want to open a new page. You just want to jump to a different section in the current page. Also, you edit the text and not the title because the title does not have an option to edit the HTML code. So at this point, we have an HTML email template, which behaves the same as the email template in the first part of this video. And you can send yourself a preview by pressing the preview button, pressing email preview, and you'll have a postcards email template with anchor links that point to a different part of the email. Until next time, see you guys later.